Hi, my name is Louis M. Landry, and I'm a painter. I paint mostly in oil. I have a show here in West BC at the Island Mountain Art Gallery um, from July, June 22nd to July 22nd. Um, anyway, <laughs> I, um, it, this show is called Deppies, and, um, and it's a play on the word Deppies. So it's um, an exploration of um, my experiences as a deaf person and a deaf artist. And I started off with, um, I started off doing landscape, incorporating my hearing tests and um, where, where you have a horizon. And um, the, the test is that, it's kind of like this, and then you have this um, threshold line that indicates the level of hearing. So the, at the threshold or above, you have perfect hearing, and anything below is the um, degree of deafness. And I'm profoundly deaf, so that means my line goes all the way down, you know, like that. So I try to incorporate that into my landscape, so that was the beginning of the project. Um, it was um, it was the project by the Kanga Counter um, for the art, where I had a small grant to begin with, and um, and then it continued going to become uh, a much bigger project, which is now um, Debbie's now, and um, so more landscape, but also incorporating hand sign language, and so. Uh, um, alphabet, like behind me, there's A, B, C, D, E, and so on, and then there's words, um, key words for the, um, that relate to the deaf world, community. Um, so I have um, culture, culture for deaf culture, um, community for deaf community, um, um, adaptable, inclusion, um, ally, um, and also, I painted a um, portrait, talking off with a, um, a deaf portrait of my deaf, and um, a portrait of other deaf people. The body of work is important to me because I wanted to find a way to bridge the gap between the hearing world and the deaf world. Um, because sometimes there's... Um, the hearing people don't quite realize the um, the challenges that we have um, as deaf or hard of hearing people. Um, for example, um, being able to talk in a room full of people and trying to follow the conversation in a, in a group setting, really, um, you're missing out a lot um, of what's being said. So you kind of fall behind and the conversation. Um, um, so the question that I ask myself when I work on this is, what is it like you know, to be deaf? Or what is it like to be hearing? Um, that's the gap I'm trying to build, um, build the bridge on. I think it's important to be positive about the experience. I mean, when, when you experience so many things, there's so many emotions involved, you know, positive and negative things, but for um, my artwork, I think it's really important to be positive because um, I think it's, um, it's about connection and communication, and um, so it's important to be positive about that Just because there's so much, um, I know families that don't accommodate um, for the deaf um, family member. So, and, um, and when the family, me that deaf fam family member um, meets um, other deaf people, sometimes it's separating the deaf because the, this deaf person has found the people. Um, and if the family doesn't take the time to learn how to communicate with the deaf member, there's often quite a divide. And, um, and that, um, to me, that, um, that's something that I want to bring awareness. Um, 
Um, I think it had a lot to do with how the medical professional treat um, deafness. Uh, it's a thing that is broken and needs to be fixed. And whereas it doesn't have to be that way. Yeah. I mean, we wear hearing aids, we get cochlear implants, or we don't. Yeah. And, um, and, if we, and if a family or a community um, makes the, make the effort to find ways to communicate, that doesn't always rely on the deaf person making accommodations for everybody. You know, I'm, I learned how to read lips. I learned how to speak because the expectation was that I accommodate the hearing well. Yeah. And there's no, almost never any effort on the hearing world to learn how to time, yeah? unless they really wanted to learn how to time because it's a wonderful language of expression. Yeah, so so that's, that's the awareness I'm trying to bring you know, in my artwork. It was important to me to have a story well because I have other people drawing connection to the community, my family, um, um, generation. You know, two young reasons of my family living in Red, and um, three actually, and because um, I lived in Red for about three years, and um, you know, I also did majority of the body of work here as well. So, so that was important for me to show the community what I've done. Um, this is for me is the beginning of the work. It, um, even though it's on dog here, it's just the beginning. And there are more deaf people to meet, and there are more words to speak, and there are more ideas to come. And um, I think it's really important to keep that journey, stay on that journey. Okay, I'm done.